Hey, comic book fans! Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And guys, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer. And comic fans, we're getting ready to do another comic book review. And this one's a good one this week, guys. Uh, we're going to be talking about all new X Men. That's right, issue number 17, otherwise known as Battle of the Atom chapter number six now this event has been uh, very eventful so far uh, it's had lots of action lots of funny dialogue uh, keeps you interested throughout the issues uh, just a really fun event that's going on with X-Men right now and I think this is probably the best event that they've had in a while this totally beats Avengers vs X-Men uh, 10 times over in my opinion as of right now every issue has been solid there's may have been a little bit of a filler here and there but it's been keeping me entertained so uh, first off cover here uh, again I think a lot of us agree that we're not a, a fan of this yellow border that distinguishes that this is a battle of the atom uh, type of book uh, because it compresses the actual real cover of who's on here. So it takes away from that. Uh, but besides that, this is a cool cover. Uh, you have the futuristic X-Men on here. And um, when you can see who they possibly are, uh, it's like Cloak and Dagger, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Iceman in the future. Colossus in the future. Uh, we got, what, Quentin Choir here. Um... Iron Man, I guess. I don't know. Was, was this really discussed in the issue who this was? It was a ju jubil jubilation or Wolverine? Not sure. And wasn't sure of this person right here either. Uh, but cool cover. Artwork by Mononen. I can never say the guy's name. Is outstanding in here. And it's beautiful from page to page. And it's consistent. And the book opens up with Dazzler. And you're like, oh, it's Dazzler. And it, she looks beautiful. And I just, I love the artwork. And it's so colorful um, as well. The colors are done right. The facial expressions here are, are beautifully done as well. Um, I'll show you a couple other pictures here so you guys get an understanding of what happens. Um, right here, too. I mean, just the, in a depth scene. Uh, splash page here with... God knows what's going on in this universe. And this page right here, uh, this is a, a fantastic page of your futuristic X-Men. Uh, just a great book to look at. And I can talk all day uh, about the art here, uh, but there is a story to talk about as well. So let's move on with the story. Uh, so what was the story about? Basically, uh, the book opens up years from now. And in our last issue, we got to see um, Magic, Hank, and uh, Iceman actually go to the future and see uh, the futuristic X-Men. And you got that one page uh, that you got to see there. And that was kind of like this page right here. And uh, they're trying to figure out what's, what happens in the future. And in this story it opens up with Dazzler here and as a reader you're you're you reading this dialogue and you're finding out what is she about what's going on why is she seems so important because she's like uh, she's like I'm just a pop star and she goes and the others go in a superhero and an X-Men and an agent of shield and an agent she's like okay okay and what you find out here is she is Dazz Dazzler is to be president-elect, and she is the actual first uh, mutant president. And you get to see right here that all the United States or the nation or Washington or wherever is clapping because she's going to be the next president. And it's a proud day for the X-Men. This is something that they've wanted to fit into society. And uh, she's about to give her speech and the next thing you see, and this is spoiler, so if you don't want to see uh, this part, just fast forward, is that she gets assassinated or executed, and you're just like, oh, shit, the Dazzler's dead. Oh, my God. I mean, she's kind of just returned, and now she's dead again. 
And it's like, oh my god. And then there's other people that are getting killed. And the other X-Men don't know what's going on. And uh, Beast is sitting there crying. Because he's just like, what's what's happening? And uh, then you see all this weird stuff that's happening. I'm not sure what this is. I don't think it was really explained in the issue. But it was craziness. And then you just see... Uh, your current X-Men make their way towards the future past this Dazzler time. And uh, you get a nice page here of all the other uh, X-Men as well. And um, it was nice to see this because you get to see Magic and Colossus reunite. And he has her sword. So there's questions here. What happens? And right away the other X-Men are like, no, no, no. You can't be here. You can't be here. You're going to mess things up. And it's kind of said, like, isn't that what we do? <laughs> We're the X-Men. We mess things up, you know? And, um, guys, mate, is this Jubilee or who is this? I wasn't sure on who that actually was. I could have missed that. But she's like, no, you can't. You can't sit there. She's like, you can't. You got to leave. She's so forceful what happens. And um, we find out that these other X-Men, there's something else. They've been departed from each other. Um it was just such a good issue. There was lots of humor here. Um, Iceman is just so humorous in this actual issue. He finds out he's this wizard-looking ice guy. Then he's like, who's that ice Hulk-looking guy? And he's he's so funny in the actual issue. It's really, really good. And um, there's all kinds of funny dialogue in here. And then there's this discussion about, no, go back. No, stay. Go back. We're not leaving until you tell us what's going on. And there's... Just like almost like the previous issue, there's the standoff of what they're going to do uh, because it's obviously going to change time. Um, so as the issue comes to an end, we see that our other current X-Men are actually recovering from the telepathic um, battle that happened in the last issue. And by the time you get to the last page, it looks like that our future X-Men wound up uh, joining with Hank and Iceman and Magic and the finding out or helping them with their answers or questions uh, at the end. So <laughs> there is lots of stuff going on. So you got past X-Men with the current X-Men with the futuristic evil X-Men with the futuristic good X-Men. Lots of X-Men going on. However, it's not really confusing. The story that's told here is quite easy to understand where other time story travels, uh, travel stories can be confusing and you get lost, kind of like the Age of Ultron. Uh, but this book is, is great. I love the dialogue. I love the action. It's just a nice pace to where you can understand everything that's going on. And again, it's such a great book to look at. Um, I truly enjoyed this. I cannot wait to find out what's going on between all these X-Men. Are these the good guys? Are these the bad guys? What's going to happen to the, the young X-Men? Are they going to disappear? Uh, there's just so much involved. And the Dazzler's dead. I mean, just all kinds of great stuff here. And if you guys have not read this issue or this series so far, please pick it up. It is definitely worth your money. One of the best events so far. I feel that this is better than Age of Ultron. I felt from the issues that I've read of Infinity, this is better than Infinity. And this is the surprise event that Marvel has put out this year. And I'm going to give this one a... This is close. This is nearly perfect for me. Um, again, uh, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed this issue. It was really fun. It had me shocked. It had me laughing. It had me intrigued. It had all those things just like the last issue did, and I can't wait to read more. So, guys, as always, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And, guys, thank you for watching. Comment for more. Take care, guys. We'll see you real soon. Bye.